How to add social media sharing buttons on WordPress and do so manually. Previously, I've created a video session showing how to use popular plugins like Shareolic to add social media icons to your WordPress site. And in this particular video session, I'm going to show you how you can do the same or similar thing, but do so manually. Let's imagine this is your blog post. And as you can see, I've got YouTube subscribe button here. I've got Google Plus. I've got Twitter, Facebook. These are rather the popular social media profiles, as in platforms. So how in the world do these work here? How can you insert something like that so you have more control over these buttons and so on instead of using plugins? So let's imagine we want to add Google Plus button. You can visit this URL and then experiment with these settings. So I'm not going to cover that because it is a straightforward process. Once you're happy with the, the settings that you've set here, all you need to do is grab this entire code and then just keep it on a notepad because it's telling us where we can place this and where we need to place this as well. When you log into your dashboard, you can press on appearance, then press on editor. Yeah. If you are not seeing the editor option, that means your theme does not allow you to modify theme files from your dashboard. If that is the case, you can still follow the methods I will show you, but you need to rather do this manually from your web hosting file manager and locate your themes folder. So what I'm going to do is instead of showing you this here, I'll show you my local copy, but just realize that once I select the theme that I'm using, the files that we will need to modify is usually it can be found for most themes header.php file footer.php file and either single.php or content-single.php yeah. modifying these three files we should be able to get the sharing buttons working for our blog posts. So let me show you my local copy. So we're basically modifying the same file. Header.php will be looking at footer.php and my theme setup uses template parts to blurt out the chunk for the blog posts from content-single.php. So let's open up header.php and let's go to here. It's telling us for Google Plus, we can place this within the head portion. That means anywhere above the end of head portion of HTML. We can place this code and Google Plus Share will work after we place the second tag as well, which I will show you. But it's also telling us that we can place it before closing of body tag. Well, if that's the case, usually you'll find that in footer.php for most WordPress sites. And it's telling us, you know what? we can place it before closing of body tag. Well, that's where we need to then place it because it's much better for page loads as well. Okay, so I've already done that as you can see. Now, I'll show you a trick so that the share buttons and all the JavaScript libraries load only for single blog posts. And you can do that through 
using PHP. Basic PHP, we're saying, you know what? Within PHP tags, if is single function, then blurt that JavaScript library code. And then we just end if. So then only single blog posts will blurt out that JavaScript library. Yeah, second part for the Google Plus share, it's telling us, you know what, you need to place this exactly where you want the share button to appear. And in our case, it's only smart to have it towards the end of our content because we want our website visitors to consume our blog posts as in read through it. And if they enjoy it, then we can ask them to share. That's more ideal rather than have it on the sides and so on, right? But you know, if you want to have it on the side, then you need to start using CSS and all that stuff. So let's place it at the end of it like so. Yeah. As I've said, depending on your theme, it may be single.php blurting that portion out. In my case, it's content hyphen single.php. Now I'll show you a trick to find that out as well. When you press on F12 on your keyboard, you can grab the arrow key, start hovering around that chunk. And it says here, entry content. So then you can search your template files to find that chunk. So whether it's in content-single.php, whether it's in single.php. Looking at entry content usually does a trick for you to find that div element. And in there, all you need to do is paste that code. And then once you upload this file to your web server, then the share button will work for Google+. You can pause this video and take a look at what I've done. So now I'm going to quickly show you Facebook share, YouTube subscribe button, and Twitter share as well. Now let's go online and let's go to this particular URL. Here it's saying channel name or ID. You can visit your channel, press on Ctrl U on your keyboard, because I'm going to show you the ID method just to cover different scenarios because of custom URLs can be tricky. So then if we search for things like this, what I've just highlighted, and this would be my channel ID. So yours will be different. All you need to do is copy that and paste it in there, select the layout. Basically, you can then copy that code. That's for YouTube subscribe button. As you can see, if you're using Google Plus and also YouTube subscribe button, then you don't have to reload the script again because it's the same script. Make sense? So then all you need to do is grab this part, copy that, and place it wherever you want that subscribe button to appear for YouTube. In my case, I've placed it here, just about next to Google Plus Share, okay? So you basically do the same thing. For Facebook, you know, I've created an app, so you need to definitely read through, follow the steps here for adding share button, right? and you can modify it, get the code. It's then telling us, you know what? Grab this. Okay, let's go and place that in header.php after the body tag. Don't be overwhelmed because it's a straightforward process really. Okay, and we can basically do the same thing here. 
we can use if is single function and then paste that code so then we're not only on single blog posts that's when all that JavaScript will load giving you precise control over how things load and then it's telling us you know what grab this code and place it where you want that Facebook share button to appear now because we're using WordPress and we want the single blog post to be shared then this is not the URL we want to share instead we can use for href we can use PHP to echo the permalink because then the blog post URL will be shared okay so that's for the Facebook share button for Twitter share it's basically the same thing or something similar but to make things work better for Twitter you need to go and read this particular URL but this is how I've accomplished it so then your Twitter handle will be different here you can place hashtag depending on your niche and then add this div now this particular div for Twitter shares works with footer.php contains this particular script that I've just highlighted and that can be found from where are, where are we yeah because you want to load that asynchronously which is much better parallel loading so then it's telling us to insert this particular script you can which you can copy for better performance and paste that into footer before the body element so what I've done actually I'll show you this like so I've said you know what if it's single load Twitter script load Google Plus and also YouTube subscribe because they are the same JavaScript library but I've also added this additional script here I'll show you where I've got that from which was yes which was here parse tags on load deferred execution on load and script tag parameters okay so you can insert that because it will defer as it will wait till the rest of the content loads and then it will start loading the JavaScript library for making Google Plus shares to work okay so you can insert that code as well change the language to match your language website language in our case it's English US it's CN I don't know what language um, that particular one is okay full example you can see the examples here now having said all this it's smart to utilize SEO plugins like Yoast whereby plugins like Yoast end up blurting out all the open graph data in the head portion most SEO plugins actually do this anyway so therefore this is how you insert these buttons manually once again the files that we're modifying it's usually header.php footer.php and single.php now default settings are default settings if you then want to customize how big they are and all that stuff then you need to use CSS and so on but as you can see I've got most of them at default and they work perfectly because 
people are used to the color theme and pressing on these buttons anyway. So at the end of the day, it is straightforward process. It's just a matter of following the insights Facebook makes available, following the insights for Google Plus or YouTube subscribe button, as well as Twitter share buttons as well. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to Rank Your YouTube channel. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.